Hey loves, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita and I like to post videos about my journey to become a debt free, cash stuff in videos and also my monthly budget. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you find yourself enjoying today's video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let's get right on into today's video. This is gonna be my debt tracker for the month of August. So I'm gonna zoom in. I mean, I'm, I'm more than likely super close, but I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more for you guys. All right, hopefully that's close enough, but let's see what we have going on for this month. I have a lot of debt. My debt has increased again. So basically I started over. I'll show you guys when I get to the other side though. So I had a pinch nerve and I wore a neck brace for three, three weeks. So of course I have a lot of doctor's bills. Uh, I thought it was something else. I thought I was having a heart attack. I went to the ER. I thought I was having a heart attack because my whole left side was numb. And it was my whole left side was just numb and painful. I wasn't having any chest pains, but maybe I was having a heart attack. Maybe I was having a stroke. I didn't know what was going on. So, of course, went to the ER, found out it was just a pinch nerve. The joys of getting old. But anyways, let's go over this month's debt-free uh, tracker. So, Piedmont is a new one. This says doctor. This means that I'm paying the doctor. And the bill that I got for them was only $83. So thank goodness for that. I'm going to pay that $83 off this month. It's not due to the 19th. Asthma, I, the starting balance is $95. I'm just going to go ahead and pay that $95. It's due on the 11th. Acute care, $103. I'm paying $35 on the 19th. AMR, $378. I'm paying $56 on the 18th. Piedmont Hospital. So this means that I have to pay the hospital. This is the bill that I received. $1,176. I have set up a payment plan simply because I have other stuff. So I'm only going to pay $50 towards this on the 15th. Capital One has a 23% interest rate. The balance is $2,672. Uh, minimum payment is $106. I am going to pay $800. I'm paying $800 because I went on a business trip and they reimburse us and I just just put it on my credit card. It just I, I feel more comfortable putting stuff like this on my credit card versus actually using my debit card. Why I don't know why. But they paid us back, so now I'm paying that off. Synchrony um $3,220. We bought a new refrigerator and stove. Don't know if I ever told you guys that, but we did. I'm budgeting $113. That's what I'm going to pay. My husband also pays on it. So if he pays anything, I'll put the amount that he pays like over in the corner. So I then I'll know that, hey, that wasn't me paying it. It was my husband paying it, but it still goes towards the debt. Excess one, uh, $4,773. Due on the 14th, I'm going to pay $287. I forgot to say Capital One is due on the 13th and Synchrony is due on the 10th. Gap, 26% interest rate, $7,350. I'm going to pay $250 on the 20th. Student loans, $43,000, not paying anything for that. And then UMC, $56,738. I'm going to pay $100 on the 9th. All of these totals up to $119,588. My minimum payment that I'm going to pay towards this month is $1,175. So now I'm going to go over to my starting debt. I rounded my starting debt up to $130,000 simply because of interest rates for some of them. So I'm just like, okay, let's just go with a bigger amount. I didn't want to round it to $120,000 simply because it's going to be more. And I still have doctor bills coming in, so I just rounded it up to $130,000. Previous months, I paid $3,094 so far once I started all over. So that's where we are with this, this month's debt. Now, I am stopping. I mean, I don't really use this card. You guys see that it's an interest rate, 23%. Uh, I never use my gap card. This 20%, this high... Balance is all because of this high interest rate. I literally never use it. Once I um, get it paid off, I'm gonna just let them close it. I'm not gonna close it myself because I don't want it to affect my um, credit score. But yeah, that's it for this month's Debt Free Friday, or not this month, this week's Debt Free Friday. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye! I post videos about my journey to becoming debt free, cash stuff in videos, and also, uh, blah, blah, what do I post? <laughs> Sometimes I believe I'm losing my mind, but anyways. <laughs>